Brook de Hawa, Brook de Oshai, Brook de Hawa, Brook de Oshai, Brook de Hawa, Brook de Oshai, call all you will Hawa, I'll hang out your house, Bashim Oshai, Bashim, good, bless you, Mosai, Hawa, bless you, Mosai, in the name of the only God and Son, Yahweh Shai, in the name of the Holy Spirit. All praise and glory to our power, Yahweh Bashim Oshai, Bashim, good, and double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who well, peace and salutation to the election, the first fruits of choices, part star, your Rashim, which are your prophets, and those are 12,000 men. Uh, out of each of the 12 tribes of Israel, equating all of them together to 144,000. All right, and of course, Shalom to the rest of the one third, which are no prophets but are believers in the words of Yahweh Shem Al Shabbat Shem Kodesh, which shall uh, receive the uh, the wide the mark of exemption, uh, receiving uh, of course salvation on this side. And if they die, it's uh, their works do follow them. So I'm the brother Mappa from the Great Millstone Plain Tables Camp, located here in the city of Philadelphia. Just coming with a wee lesson. As you see the title, I just seen this through the spirit as I woke up. But it's uh, currently, I believe, August uh, it's 19, 2021, 20, year of hasten to the coming of Yahweh Shem El Shai. Um, prophecy uh, is continuing to speak. So, just going into it, actually I want to close this other tab real quick. You have it, Delta, in soaring beef prices, fry, U.S. steakhouses. Steakhouses are an iconic part of the American dining out culture, but the resurgence of the pestilence in soaring beef prices could diminish the appetite of steakhouse chains. The $5 billion U.S. premium steakhouse sector serves up $60 ribeyes and is usually frequented by business account wielding executives. At corporate events, tourists, popular metro areas. Uh, this would be considered like your king's food. Uh, Steaks and all of that, uh, but uh, ain't nothing wrong with going out to eat to the eating it, but you know, all of within moderation because uh, as you see, things are uh, beginning to or uh, continuing to, to go down, dwindle down. So, Reuters says that. Um, also, it says, d but Delta uh, infections and death increase. And businesses are delaying employees returning to the office and travelers are canceling trips, threatening in-person dining at high-end steakhouses. So, so, many of the traveling service sector is still taking a hit. Though, despite the fact they keep telling you that. Things are going to return to a normalcy. We only continue to see uh, just a depletion of everything. Um, Rutgers say that steakhouses are especially vulnerable to the spread of this uh, pestilence because of their traditions such as lengthy indoor three-course dinners uh, may scare off apprehensive customers besides the emergency emergence of this pandemic uh, scaring patrons from eating indoors. Um, actually, I mean, me, I see most of the people uh, were more uh, excited to eat indoors because, you know, most of the time of the pandemic, uh, you know, you had different various capacity limits. And um, when they had to return or being more lenient with um, these different lenient, uh, these different limits of capacities and m people were filled the doors all right uh you know most places because that's part of the culture going out and eating and such uh with wholesale prices uh, more than 40 percent of J in july uh, than the a year ago it's not just steaks all sorts of wholesale prices of food essentially this for steakhouse has increased in the last year higher Wholesale costs are particularly damaging to steakhouse because of erodes of their profit margin. So, 
you know, of course, when you're in business, you want to make profit. Well, you know, the increase of, you know, getting these, you know, these boxes and boxes upon uh, steak, cuts of steak, especially with a dwindling down, uh, uh, you know, the cattle, you know, these different uh, hits that happen due to different various natural disasters, uh, natural disasters that Yahweh Shemashiach has brought. Um, you know, leaving uh, many of these different businesses to stay afloat. Uh, they're more operating at a loss. So it says restaurant chains like Ruth's Chris Steaks Steakhouse are locking in beef prices because there's a risk of food fed uh, food inflation that will be worsen into 2022. All right, so we got some of the wee data sale growth. All right, which pumbled, pumbled, pumbled. January pummeled February pumbled right here in March uh, then you have some sales growth April May June July about 20% but you know you have things are decreasing at this time we won't get the lift that we expected before the magnitude of this new variant New York uh, City open table for the number of seated dine dinners uh, slump in the past 30 days so things are just depleting we have this particular steakhouse called Fleming's Prime Steakhouse and Wining Bar had adapted a more to more carry out orders and uh, than ever before because people are still free to eat the entire three course meal indoors they say I see a different narrative but hey you just keep going um, during the 2020 pen the pestilence outbreak and carry out soared to 47 percent yeah because you couldn't eat indoors in most places and if you could like you said limit it in capacities the figure is now around eight percent okay so carry out sales is what around three eight percent compared to a forty seven percent all right but you have another famous uh steakhouse which is Ruth's Chris Steakhouse who closed most of its or some of its restaurants during the pestilence outbreak because it couldn't instantly conform to the delivery and takeout mall. Uh it says that they trimmed the fat and shrunk to a corporate footprint its corporate front print and added takeout this summer uh chief executive uh, chef or chief our ceo that is uh cheryl henry said that the more mo move had attracted new customers we started to see younger more affluent guests trying the roofs for the first time our takeout and delivery program emergence of, of this uh pestilence has companies scrambling to delay reopenings and canceling travel plans and you have it where you know if people are no traveling and uh, doing uh you know, they're going on holiday and that means many of these different places don't have that tourism which would uh you know get those uh, profit margins up all right so then or you have it where they, um, you know, they're buying all these wholesale boxes at a, you know, a loss. And then, um, you know, the, the, for the people that do come in, you know, they're not making their back. All right. So you know, they're pretty much uh, losing, uh, losing all money. So the emergency of the uh, virus scrambled to delay office opens, cancel travel plans. If, the, if this uh, worsens ahead of the flu season, Steakhouse across the U.S. will be badly impact or widely to survive. They will need to uh, have a robust delivery and takeout model. And making matters worse, soaring food inflation is crushing steakhouses' margins, with which will ultimately be passed along to the patrons. Yeah, you gotta pay higher prices, you know, for um, you know steaks because in order for them to continue to you know operate and, and buy these you know provide these steaks 
you you as a customer are gonna have to pay. Simple as that. They don't they're not getting that amount of uh, volume as they used to. And then you have UN, which is a United Nations are worried as global food prices soar to a ten year high. Okay. So now we see soaring food prices have tremendous implications on social society trends and may result to unrest in emergency market countries if it persists. So, you know, more bad news. Okay, uh, you know, because wit and famine comes and uh, people are going to search for food and everyone's in each and other their neighbor's house and such. So... So that's the times in which we're in. We're on the brink of everything pretty much failing. <sighs> Complete. And they coming back. So. Matthews 24 and 7. For nation shall rise against nation. Kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence. And earthquakes in diverse places. Famines a scarcity of food. Alright now. You have it right now. You have certain food is there, but you know, you know, you had the food inflation. It's really, you know, due to the you know, lack of uh, really the the currency is being devalued. So I mean, you need more money just to uh, to buy the same thing, if not less. And I, I've been noticing as well. Uh, me as a, um, you know go out to eat sometimes or buy out which it's been very rare in these times um this you know prices uh say for example even at food carts and such like that has increased um even you know regular regular store the, everything has increased uh you know you have it seven dollars for you know some of them different uh, food carts you know, ishmael be having you have it uh you know seven dollars and then also you, you know a lot of them, you know, they're not giving as much as uh, the food that they had previously, okay, given to you. Okay, limitation, fourth chapter. This is uh, the book of Lamentations, chapter 4, and verse 9. It says, They that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger. For these pine away, stricken through the want of the fruits of the field. Uh, so, uh, of course, um, you know, your body eats itself. You know, uh, when you uh, begin to be without food and such, uh, you know, it starts to eat. On it on itself, okay. So it can uh, sustain itself, all right. But it's better to be uh, slain by the sword than to uh, pretty much suffer uh, famine, you know, uh, hunger and such. All right. So I'm going into that word for pine away is zawab in Hebrew, which means. Uh, to uh, to waste away, okay, have a issue, okay, uh, pine away. So really, it's to waste away. All right, figuratively, with the waste away. Okay, um. And then I'm, uh, you maybe get one more precept. Let's call it a, a morning. Uh, let me see. This is uh, the book of Habakkuk, chapter. I think it's three. It says, uh, Habakkuk 3 and 17, although the fig tree shall not blossom, neither the fruit shall, be, neither shall fruit be in the vines. The labor of the olive shall fail, and the, the fields shall yield no meat. 
the flock right where you get your beef your cow right such shall be cut off from the fold and there shall no be no shall no be no hard in thy stall in the stalls okay so well, there's going to be a great famine all right but we know the servants of the lord are going to eat and uh, at famine they shall laugh so we have nothing to worry about uh, actually i'll get that in job chapter the fifth chapter start with this one though this is Habakkuk or Job I am up socket 5 and 3 it says I have seen the foolish taking root Edomites but suddenly cursed his habitation right so you know the Lord cursed the dwelling of these Edomites all right it says his children are far from safety and they are crushed in the gate neither is there any to deliver them who harvest the hungry eat, eateth eat, eateth up and it and taketh it even out of the thorns and the robber swallowed up their substance all right and you have it where of course uh, uh, us you know we be the hungry that eateth up, you know, this harvest and stuff. All right. Uh, although affliction, verse six, cometh not forth of the dust, neither doth trouble spring out of the ground. Although affliction cometh not forth of the dust. Neither doth trouble sprang out of the ground, yet man is born into trouble and as sparks fly upward. Okay. Let's uh, keep going down. Job chapter 5 and 22 At destruction and famine thou shalt laugh Neither shalt thou be afraid Of the beasts of the earth Okay so Just going into some of these words You got shod For destruction You got kapan for famine Just going to the word for famine Which goes into this famine or hunger. Alright. So that's going to be heavy. The miracle is going to be occurring. It says thou shalt laugh. Shekhak. Goes into. To. To make. Mock. And laugh. Sport, to sport. Make sport. Singing and dancing. So. We're going to be in a very joyful spirit. All right. So we'll continue to watch as prophecy uh, unfold and uh, continue to prepare yourself for uh, these straits that are coming upon the world. All right. Shalom to the elect.